All right, what is going on, everyone, and welcome to Broken Age. My name is John, and this game came out a while ago, but the reason I am playing this today is because Act 2 recently came out. Well, it actually came out today, the 28th, and um, I've actually never played this game before by myself. I've seen, like, small portions of gameplay, but I generally get the idea of what this game is, like a point-and-click puzzle solving adventure, I guess. And, um, so I don't know any of the puzzles. I did record, a, or not record, but I did play, like, the first five minutes just to see if everything worked. So, um, we're gonna start from the complete beginning, and, uh, I heard this game wasn't too long, so we could probably get through most of it in under ten hours, I believe. But anyway, um... So I'm excited, Act 2 came out, but we're going to be starting with Act 1 because I don't know what exactly is uh, going on. So anyway, I'm playing this on PC, it's also out for PS4 and Vita, I believe. So let's take a quick look at the options menu. Um, everything here is good, keeping subtitles on for re recording. And one thing you should probably uh, look into before playing is the interaction style. Now what this is, is if you are clicking or dragging, depending on what you're going to do with the puzzles, uh, I like click, so that's what we're doing. So we're going to be starting a new game, and yeah, let's get started. Um, let's put it on save two. So apparently these are both like different stories. I could choose left or right, in other words. And um, let's try this one because apparently from what I've read, this this storyline is easier than this one. So I want to challenge myself a little bit with this one. But I mean, we're going to do both eventually, but I just wanted to start with this one. So if we could get this series off to a good start with the like, that would be really appreciated. Um... I hope you guys will enjoy this, and I'll try to keep quiet during the cutscenes so you can enjoy the story as much as I do. Are you out here, Bella? Guess it's time to face the cupcakes. Come on, Bella. Everybody's waiting for you. Okay, so you kind of just drag Valoria. and drop. Valoria, ah, sugar bunting, where the sweetness is baked right in. Worried that I chickened out? No! I know you're not afraid of anything. I mean, what's to fear? This is a great honor. Right! Wait, I can't tell if you're being serious. Well, there is one part that I'm really afraid of. What's that? I'm afraid that you won't get any food because I'm gonna beat you to the Maiden's Feast. Dream on! Alright, so we're going into the house. <clears throat> Apparently most of this is cutscenes aside from point and click stuff so I don't know how commentary will work Hello? so if I'm quiet most of it will be okay Surprise! Surprise! whoa yay there is my Valoria oh look at my pretty girl I can't believe I just can't believe we're very proud of you I think that's what your mother is trying to say oh She's not even dressed yet? Can we do that after cake? Come on, cake first! All right, but come on. Let's get this good time over with. Oh, yes, cake. Now, where did I put that knife? Nobody touches that cake until I find the ceremonial knife. <sighs> so I know how to do this puzzle, but we're just going to talk to everyone just to, like, talk to them, I guess. Know where Mom's knife is, Rocky? If I did, we'd all be eating cake right now! Jesus. Don't suppose you have another knife in the back we can use? I do, but your mom brought out a special one she wants to use. She wants everything to be perfect on your special day. So we have to get the cupcake over here. Maybe the knife is under <clears throat> this towel. <laughs> Never gonna find it! Dad, I hope you're not hiding that knife. For your own good. <laughs> so this is pretty much your like inventory. You're gonna need to. Don't use touch it. the red ones. Mom made those just for me. 
You're going to eat all of those? I've already had six! That explains a lot. Okay, so we have a cupcake now. Lavina? What is it, girl? Can I ask you about the Maiden's Feast? Weren't you paying attention in Maiden training? Jeez. What is Mog Chathra? The latest in a long, distinguished line of Grand Mogs to visit our land. Distinguished? Well, anything that lives that long becomes distinguished. I mean, look at me! <laughs> How much do we know about these Grand Mogs? The Grand Mogs have visited our lands for as long as anyone can remember. They hide in the wilderness for years, and then they come to feed. After feeding, they return to their land and, it is imagined, breed. You actually imagine that? Eh. Why was I chosen? In every town visited by a Grand Mog, the villagers vote for the maidens who represent their town's best qualities. So in other words, beats me. Mog Chathra attacks other towns? Of course! Maryloft just had their maidens feast yesterday. That's how we know he's coming here next. Ah, they're a pretty tough act to follow. Amazing feather work. Where do creatures like Mog Chathra come from? They come from beyond the Plague Dam. I want to go beyond the Plague Dam someday. It's oh, forbidden! Yeah. But maybe you'll be lucky enough to be taken there soon in Mog Chathra's stomach. That's weird. How many of these feasts have you organized? Let's see. A new Grand Mog appears every 14 years, and I'd have seen six of them, so... Hey! Are you trying to get my age out of me? I'll never tell. Okay. I think I know all I need to know about the Maiden's Feast. All you need to know is how to look pretty in your dress. We'll take care of the rest. So, why don't we just fight Mog Chathra? Silence! Talk like that could ruin the Maiden's Feast! If you destroy the feast, Mog Chathra will destroy this village, including your family. Is that what you want? No. My grandpa doesn't look too happy about this feast. Your grandpa is just stuck in the ways of old. Your grandma was the same way. Bless her soul. Not all of the town elders have stayed as hip and with it as I have. I'd better go look for that knife. And hurry. If we're late, you won't be selected and your family will be shamed. Alright, so we pretty much talked to him now. Get the knife out of him. Grandpa Beastender? <laughs> hey, Gramps, want a cupcake? Um, yes. Why so grumpy, Gramps? Because we're celebrating something that's a mockery of what this town used to stand for. Yeah, I'm not sure how I feel about this Maiden's Feast either, to tell you the truth. Then fight it, girl! Stand up for yourself! I hope you're not filling that girl's head with nonsense, Brahma. <laughs> I'd better go find that knife. Don't you dare! I hid it for a reason. You did what? Oh, nothing. For me? <laughs> no, I'm just showing it to you. Split it with you? Deal. Oh, what a coincidence. On second thought, you can have the whole thing. Suit yourself. Now, where did I put that thing? What thing? Uh, nothing. Uh, I didn't say anything. <laughs> People these days. Mom, I was just wondering, what if we fought the monster instead of feeding it? That's my girl. Now that's beast ender blood talking. Please, my loves, don't make this any harder than it already is. <sighs> All right, time to serve this girl up. But first, can I ask just one more time? Honey. Why don't we just kill Mog Chothra? <laughs> <laughs> here, here! 
<laughs> oh, honey. Oh, we're going to miss your sense of humor. Majestic to behold. I do like the art style of this. Powerful, <clears throat> mysterious. But Mog Chopra is more than that. Merciful and generous. Mog Chopra keeps our town safe. All he asks is may he pick some of our beautiful flowers as he passes through. Please come, Mog Chopra, and make your selections. Welcome to the Maiden's Feast! Show him what you're made of, Bella. I know he'll pick you! This can't be right. No, it's not right! For one thing, I should be in hey, the center. does that costume have any thorns we can use as weapons? It does, but they're made out of chocolate. Regardless, I accept my noble burden, not with apprehension, but with joy. I give my life so that no harm comes to our village. No! I give my life! No, me! Sheesh. Ha! <laughs> I made myself the center of <laughs> Hey. What do you say we break out of here? Trying to get us all to quit so you'll win the feast, huh? Well, it's not gonna work on me. I'm in it to win it, baby. Well, at least we tried. You're making me hungry. I'm trying to make Mog Chathra hungry. These girls have it all backwards. Think it's attractive to starve themselves. Just wanted to say good luck. Bye. Center of mass, mate. <laughs> hey, I've got a plan. I already have a plan, thanks. Attract Mog Chothra with my slender frame and be remembered forever as a hero. Well, good luck. Yeah, <laughs> whatever. No more ugliness, girls. When the monster gets close, you can use your candles to burn its eyes. Don't distract me. I think I've got a chance to win this. <laughs> You know, if you actually think about it, like the storyline, that's kind of weird and disturbing. No, oh, he's so majestic. Here I am, merciful King Mog Chopra, over here. No, this way, Great One. I am the one you've come so far to find. Over here. I am in blue for you. See? He's drawn to the flame. Like a giant moth. What? No way! He's coming my direction. Please, don't be hasty in your decision, my lord. Oh, yes. Take your time. Look over all your options. And then, after some careful consideration... <gasps> Rip. Uh, <laughs> oh. Huh. Hey, can I have a drink of that water? Hmm. Trade you for that sweet corset you've got on. Never can be too thin. This horrible thing? You got a deal. Ooh, what a relief. I feel so much. Oh, I'm sorry. But this thing's just too big for me. Trade back. Oh, that poor girl. Oh, no! That should have been me! Can I buy that bottle one more time? Keep it. Thanks. I don't need it where I'm going. This is weird. <laughs> Say that. Want to trade something for a bite of that drumstick? Hmm. What do you got? How about?
about something bubbly to wash it down. Well, thanks. Don't mind if I... Ah! Look at me! I'm soaked! Oh, God. Is he looking? Quick! Quick! Help me put myself back together! Nope. Want to trade something for a bite of that drumstick? Hmm. What do you got? I've got a towel here if you throw me that drumstick. You have a towel? Why didn't you say so? <laughs> this is a random. Er, oh, my girl. Uh, how long have you been standing there? Are you no, fuck you, bird. Get out of here. How can you think about me? Dang it. Still out of reach. Here, birdie. Oh, come on. So close. Oh, I get it. Okay. Gotcha. That's it. Black those So big now we need the knife to I cut it. Oh, wait, hold on. I don't want to stab that. Oh, wait, the cake starts. Hey, how about we split this cupcake? You can have the bottom half. Get back here, you crazy brat! That's my girl! She's doomed us all! Mog Chopper's fury will soon rain down upon our village! Yep! So I think that was like chapter one of this section and there's a lot of other chapters. Brought back a girl with her. Ooh, a new recruit. <laughs> oh my god. Time for your old man to become Mr. Smooth. That's kind of weird. So, I guess our goal is to get a eggs and, like, give them back. Hi, my name is Vela. What's yours? I am Walt Er. Walter? Walt Er. With an apostrophe, we admire lightness in all things. No extra baggage, no extra letters. I'm ch- Who are you guys? We're the preeners, of course. We take care of the nests and keep stuff floating. Super important. Can you guys help me? I need to get back to sugar bunting right away. You're from sugar bunting? So that's why you smell like frosting. What's the big rush? Stay here and float a while. Um. I just escaped the Maiden's Feast, and now Mog Chathra is going to eat the town. You what? Why would you ever run away from such an honor, such a joyous occasion? Hopefully, the upcoming ceremonies in Shell Mound go more smoothly. 
We just had our maiden's feast yesterday. It was awesome. <laughs> Brother Lightbeard was very pleased. Good luck topping that one, <laughs> Smell Mound. Well, I just thought maybe we could fight Mog Chathra instead of feeding it. Oh, that sounds horrible. Why would anyone want to hurt such a noble, endangered creature? You know, I don't know because Poor it's trying Mog to eat you. Chathra. Hmm. Did you say that the next Maiden's Feast was in Shell Mound? Yes. It's so sad. I mean, they're always trying to compete with us, but... Oh, please. Shell Mound girls smell like old seaweed. How do I get to Shell Mound? Um, follow the stink? <laughs> <laughs> Look, I just need to get home right away. We have no way off this cloud. Because no one wants to leave. Mom says she does, but she doesn't really. Right, Dad? I need to get to Mog Chathra, quick. Good idea. If you sacrifice yourself to Mog Chathra, that might set things right. He's very picky, though. And you'd have to compete with the other maidens of Shell Mound. Hmm. Let's go back to talking about Mariloft. I knew this magical place would win you over eventually. Um. Don't the birds tend the nest? Well, these birds are not exactly model homemakers. Left to their own devices, they'll lay too many eggs or get too fat. And then, poof, they'll sink right through the clouds. Don't blow, stay afloat. Who's Jesse? That big blue oligol you rode in on. Oh, really? I guess I owe her a thank you. Actually, take my advice. Stay away. Why shouldn't I talk to Jesse? Well, one of her eggs went missing when she was out. She's totally freaking out. Yes, I don't think the golden egg substitute we put in her nest is fooling her. Poor Jesse. Where did her egg go? It's against the Greener Code to point fingers. But Gus was on cleaning duty. And it wouldn't be the first time that oaf fell through. Shh, son. Remember what Brother Lightbeard said. Who speaks, cause leaks. I feel like it's you somehow stole it. I wonder why, just by looking at you. <clears throat> Any idea where I can find Jesse's egg? If Gus really did take it, well, he is a little dense, mentally and physically. <laughs> he probably fell through the clouds and went splat in the forest. Well, I'll see you two later. Farewell. Stick to the paths. Stay on the twigs or you'll eat a pig. No freestyling, Chit. Sorry, Pop. <laughs> um... So, I... I don't know, do I just talk to the birds for Don't some... take this personally, bird, but I gotta get out of here. Hi, birdie. Oh, rip. Guess we can't talk to you then. Let's see, what do you do? Careful! Ah. I told you to be careful. It's okay. It's just my whole livelihood is gone, is all. I'm sunk. So, what's your name? Carl. Carl? No, Carl. It's Carol, with some of the letters removed for reasons that are too stupid <laughs> to repeat. I don't understand. Hey, can I ask you about those weird guys down there? My husband and son? Oh. Uh, what did they do this time? I 
I don't think those guys down there are working as hard as you are. Oh, I think they are, since I lost my knife. I think they're going to hurt somebody with those sticks. Oh, my husband would never do that. Harmony has rules against fighting here. Harmony? Harmony. Harmony Lightbeard, the supposed guru my husband followed up here. I think he's a <clears throat> nut, but I let my husband have his hobbies. Um, right. So. You must be very proud. Honey, I'm just trying to survive this phase. Honestly, I wish he had just had an affair like most middle-aged men instead of dragging us all up here. Is that all of them? Well, there's McGee, my teenager, off with her head in the cloud somewhere. You know what I mean. No, explain. Go on. Your husband is following a guru? He moved the whole family up here so we could study Harmony Lightbeard's philosophy of lightness. It's a midlife crisis thing. I'm just playing along. Okay, enough about your family. That's weird. Oh, sorry. Was I going on about them again? Yeah, well, I, I'll, I'll let, let you, you get go back now. to your work. No, ah, my work. All right, so this place is really odd, and this looks like the only uh, over here, and three different places we can go visit. Hello. How's it hanging? <laughs> Good one. That's not something you say to someone on the first time you meet them, or that, I guess. I really like your outfit. Yeah, I liked it too. Not good enough, though, apparently. And on top of that, the shoes were too tight. Did you say something about shoes? Yeah, why? You need some? Take these. I don't need any. I'm gonna sit here forever. What are you doing down here? I'm an offering for the Maiden's Feast. You can't tell? Jeez, it's worse than I thought. I was in a Maiden's Feast too. Just today, in fact. Oh, really? You didn't get picked either? Um... Uh, yeah, I didn't get picked either. Probably because of that shabby dress. Oh, hey. shots fired. Sorry, I only said that because I'm sad and because it's all turn up and stuff. Okay, I see how it is, lady. 